Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. So right now, my portfolio is at $54,851.89. Not much change today, only a 0.59% loss. That's uh, $324 down for the day. But 0.59%, I mean, that's barely anything. Especially if my portfolio is all spreads. So yeah, not much happened today. If we look at the list of stocks in my portfolio, some of them were down, some of them were up. Overall, not much change, but let's go over it anyways. So I've got an IPOD, 7.5, $10 call debit spread. This expires October 15th. Total return, plus 15.63%. A firm this is a 45.50 call debit spread, expiring November 19th. Total return 23.51%. This is an a firm 40.60 call debit spread, November 19th expiration date. Total return 25.05%. So my firm spreads are doing really well. Alibaba 210.220 call debit spread. November 19th, expiration date, total return, plus 16.98%. Alibaba, $195, $200 call debit spread, expires November 19th, total return, 8.82%. GSAH, 7.5, 12.5 call debit spread, expiring November 19th, total return, plus 7.27 percent the call I'm not gonna talk about that I would actually want to get rid of this as soon as possible IPOF 7.5 $10 call debit spread expiration date December 17th total return minus 1.29 percent IPOF 7.5 12.5 call debit spread Expiration date, December 17th, total return, plus 9.6%. Arc X, $15, $21 call debit spread. Expiration date, January 20th, 2023. Total return, down 10.22%. And finally, PSTH, $15, $25 call debit spread. Expiration date, January 20th, 2023. Total return, 5.81%. So most of my spreads, they're profitable right now. They're currently giving me gains in my portfolio, so that's good. Like I said, not much change today. Overall, pretty flat. Hopefully, um, as time goes on, we get more... <laughs> Uh, of a clear direction of where this portfolio is going, but so far so good um, The fact that it's holding at these levels is really nice. I haven't added to my portfolio in a while I've just been putting money off to uh, the side But yeah It's pretty boring right now actually because like I'm at a stage right now where all I got to do is wait as you can see, a lot of my spreads, they expire on the same date, November 19th. Right now, it's April 27th, so November is still a long way to go. So these are firm spreads, BABA spreads, GSAH, IPO, no, not IPOF. So GSAH, BABA, and Affirm, all of those spreads expire on November 19th. So that date is going to be pretty huge, November 19th. The earliest one, IPOD, my IPOD spreads expire in October. But even then, October is still a long way to go. And then I got my very long-term ones over here. I don't have to worry about those for a long while. Although, to be honest, I do believe I might want to get rid of my ARCX spreads just because there's not much 
max profit out of this like the max profit is six and right now it's 325 so i guess i could like almost double up but even then like eh, never mind maybe, maybe i'll keep it i'm i'm iffy on arc x maybe i'm just impatient because it hasn't really given me a lot of gains i'm currently down 10 percent on it so maybe i'm just stubborn uh, i'm not really happy about my arc x spread because i'm not really getting gains out of it right now but there's still plenty of months to go. I mean, 2023, that's a long way to go from here. So I guess I just got to be more patient with this. It's hard to be patient sometimes, honestly. When it's this far away, the expiration date is that far away. Uh, sometimes it's just really hard to wait. <laughs> but that's what I got to do right now is just sit back and wait. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I make portfolio updates mainly for you guys. For me personally, I don't really have to keep track of this day to day. These expire like towards the end of the year. So in a practical setting, I wouldn't be checking these every single day. That wouldn't make any sense because these expire m many months from now, you know. But just so you guys can see how these spreads work and how they profit or uh, make me lose money. I mean, so you guys could see what's in my portfolio. So I'm being transparent, but at the same time, realistically, when I'm doing spreads that expire at the end of the year, I don't need to keep track of it every single day. It's mainly just so you guys can see what I'm doing in my portfolio. But if it was just me, I would just check back in a couple months, <laughs> honestly. Um, but yeah. All right. I will be doing regular portfolio updates just so you guys can see how things are going, um, and how profitable or not profitable my plays are. And yeah, I'll let you guys know. I haven't changed anything. It's just stayed the same. All I'm doing is just sitting back and waiting, but I will update you guys if anything changes. Alright, that's it for my portfolio update, guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.